Hello there. So today I'll be talking about a pen by Francesco Rubinato. Well, this is the packaging, large box. Well, it's a feather quill pen, so this is why the size. So open the box, and here comes out a red feather quill pen, a bottle of red ink, and a certificate of authenticity. It says Francesco Rubinato, and then it says certificate of guarantee sorry guarantee in all uh, five languages okay so uh, this is the pen this is the bottle of ink nice ink this is a good one I'll show you the sample now this metal all this metal thing is pewter pewter is basically an alloy uh, and this is goose quill it comes in uh, green color and blue also so I got myself a red one this is a fine calligraphy nib uh, let me focus again okay there it is it has nice flex and this is swappable i mean you can take this nib out and you can put any other uh, calligraphy nib in this uh, be it browse nib or estabrook or steno i tried all so it goes in nicely you just have to pull this off it is just like a pen holder calligraphy pen holder and then you can put this in it has nice balance good one uh, I tried calligraphy it's not at all heavy good one I liked it so let me show you a writing sample okay we will use the same red ink that is provided with this uh, pen dip it in it looks pretty tiny amount of ink but it works well so this is the flex of the nib this is the normal and this is the broad one let me show you a close up so that's the color I like the color this is a nice red and uh, the flex is also good so it's a good nib the nib that was provided with this is a good one uh, it also comes in medium this is a fine this is the fine nib I don't know what you what what we call what this nib is called actually uh, so uh, as the store manager said that this is a, a fine nib so that's a fine nib uh, well that's all this to it and uh, nothing much it's just a nice pen very beautiful uh, you you need you would need a stand for this uh, because without a stand you won't be able to you, to hold it. it it can be placed on a desk and uh, well an old ink bottle will do or you can cut a syringe and uh, block the you know that uh, the hole out there like I've done it uh, take the syringe cut it off block this hole and then you can fill it with ink like right now it is filled with ink so that's one thing you can do uh, they also provide uh, holders for this but that was costly for me so I <laughs> went for this okay so that's all and uh, hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching